to be tube capital g here got some pretty cool duels for you guys to check out i think there's going to be three in this batch and they're all going to be fairly short except this first duel, which is actually a little grindy we got cybers at the top and orcus at the bottom orcus have been getting incredibly popular because of the support from dark neo storm getting a new infernity barrier that also has a rota built into it and also getting an incredibly good xc monster i think that uh by the time that we get it in the tcg uh depending on what armageddon knights is is at i think that we'll see this deck eventually become meta maybe like a tier one deck uh summon sorcerers will probably be banned by the time we get it but we got cybers at the top cybers sometimes you don't know what to stop because people are unfamiliar with the cards we've got the dark gref for some and he's probably going to go for galatea because uh just uh, such an easy card to go into does not search the infernity barrier instead gets the field spell so that he can start using effects during his opponent's side uh, or his opponent's turn and i think he's going to end on topologic bomber dragon plus long girisu this is generally one of the uh, more common boards from uh, Orcus because what it does is if your opponent tries to special summon to either this zone right here that um, Bomber Dragon is pointing into or they try to use their extra monster zone, either way, the Topologic Bomber Dragon will activate and it'll blow up whatever they try to summon. However, Cyber's player he says cap i got 200 iq what i'll do is i'll use the same uh, the same thing that you're doing that keeps your long gear suit protected i'll do the same thing he summons code talker this guy when it's linked cannot be destroyed by card effects so <laughs> actually topologic bomber dragon does nothing in that case now long gear suit is uh protected as well he actually goes for degrade buster and he's looking like he wants to threaten the, the topologic bomber dragon by banishing it long gear suit is going to get rid of the code talker he does banish it and after a twin twister he's able to attack into galatea then play Cyanet Storm and main phase two. And right now, the Topologic Bomber Dragon is actually not that big of a threat because anytime it tries to attack, he can simply just banish it. And then these guys have the same attack value. So even if he attacks into this, it's really just a trade. So I think that he's in pretty decent shape. You see, once again, he's going to banish the Bomber Dragon, but that XC monster is a little too OP. <laughs> he gains that 100 attack, and then he gets protection. Now, he did attack into a field that had Cyanet Storm, and what that allowed the Cybers player to, uh, to do was just get a free monster from his extra deck. He ends up getting Transco Talker. Not sure why he summoned this here, because now both, mo well, I guess both monsters are going to gain attack, so maybe he's, like, fine with it, but whatever. Transco Talker probably is going to activate. Nope, he just attacks, and looks like he isn't going to activate. Fair enough. I thought he would activate transco talker's effect anyways looks like he's going to go into battle phase he does try to use the topologic bomber dragon effect and actually i think what happened was Cyanet uh Cyanet storm activated and then when he activated another effect the uh Cyanet conflict the counter trap the infernity barrier for cybers actually activated and he's still in this duel now he did in main phase two i believe off galatea get the infernity barrier for orcus the um orchestrated climax you knew it was only a matter of time before he went and searched this card because it's just too good to go an entire duel without it and i believe he's going to try to go into beatdown phase right or beatdown mode basically if your opponent just has galatea you just try to run her ass over take away that orcus monster so you know, hopefully you can try to clear your opponent's board and maybe they can't use the infernity barrier unfortunately she was linked the entire time so she can't be destroyed so uh i guess that was pretty much all in vain goes for x code talker that's met with the infernity barrier and now is he going to oh yeah he goes for his own bomber dragon <laughs> he says cap g you're not the only one <laughs> this guy's not the only one who can use bomber dragon i can use that too the problem Problem is that rota effect of the infernity barrier is just too good now he's able to go for a costrian and then he's probably just going to turn both of these guys off and simply attack into the bomber dragon and that is going to give us a gg no re actually yeah both monsters being zero attack means there's there's no way you're going to survive this because basically he's just attacking directly at this point so orcus get the victory in the first duel our second duel is actually super quick and shows off the new magician so in this story you're going to get a little peek at what the new endemion can actually do the card is pretty easy to summon if you are actually trying to summon it you're not just using it as a pendulum scale and you do happen to play like the magical citadel or magic lab by the way you guys confirm this or deny this somebody told me that prophecy and uh, mythical beast that they actually have like a storyline that's interconnected <laughs> that the grand pro the grand tower of prophecy is like somewhere in the magical citadel and 
I guess it would kind of make sense if there's this one giant city of spellcasters and knowledge and they're all kind of living together, but maybe there's like two factions and they don't like each other, but that's what I've been told. I got to do a little more research on that. Anyways, I believe dinosaurs are up first and he's going, oh no, dinosaurs aren't up first. My bad. It looks like the, um, the spellcaster deck was up first and sets breakthrough skill. You guys know I love breakthrough skill very much as, um, if you were playing Solemn or Ash Blossom here, keep in mind this OV Raptor would have actually chain blocked you. This is very common in dinosaurs. What they'll do is they'll make OV chain link one and then they'll make Lost World chain link two. And if you have Ash Blossom or you have something like Solemn Strike, you cannot respond to this. However, if you have Valor or if you have Breakthrough Skill, you can uh, avoid being chain blocked. In the end, it didn't matter because he had Miscellaneous Ceratosaurus anyway. So he's just going to be able to get that through. He also gets that uh, big conductor Tyranno, but he can't summon the second one. Gets another monster off of the baby Ceratosaurus that was sent, and now he can actually summon it. Now, I thought this was super weird. I thought that he would have summoned Lagia in main phase two, because Lagia would have eaten a card up, and then if his opponent committed to the board, he would have been able to use his conductor Tyranno, thus giving up the Lagia for even more disruption, and still had two conductors on field. Like, I thought that was just kind of weird that he didn't do that, but whatever, he's going to learn the hard way, or the hard way activates one magical lab then activates a second magical lab and then he's going to activate the pendulum scale of the new endymion and guess what guess how many spell casts or spell counters he actually has on the field he has exactly six he can summon it of its own effect and this is crazy i did not even realize when i reviewed this card it counts itself because it is a it is a card that can actually hold spell counters so he actually gets to blow up four cards on his opponent's side of the field and he becomes a magic specter at that point his opponent has his entire board nuked, and he just gives up. I probably, you know, I probably would have popped the, like, I would have left him with the Oviraptor. I would have popped the field spell, because Oviraptor is not really a threat at that point. I'm trying to get rid of that stupid field spell, but this is kind of crazy. When you summon this card, it does count itself as another card for it to kind of blow up, because it can hold spell counters as well. And then our final duel is actually going to be Infinity versus Infinity. Battle to Infinity. We got Cyber Dragons and Dynamis. Dynamis did make top eight or excuse me, they didn't make top 64 at the uh, YCS in Sydney, and you know, Dino Miss are a very resilient deck, not sure Kaijuing Dino Miss really does anything, but <laughs> whatever, <laughs> he's got a Droll and Lockbird, his opponent says, I'm going to strike first with Cyber Dragon Infinity, I'm going to go ahead and attack you directly, let's see if Dino Miss can follow up, I believe that he probably will, Dino Miss Charge is going to be negated, that was unfortunate, but he's able to go into Electromite, Electromite looks like it's going to go off, except it's not. It's actually going to be popped, but he's fine because he still has the Pendulum Summon. And he says, Cav G, I will respond with Infinity with my own Infinity. And now we have Infinity on Infinity action. <laughs> he attacks directly, and now he's the one in the driver's seat. Unfortunately, Nasher is going to be summoned. He's going to Contact Fuse. He didn't want to activate the effect because Infinity just would have stopped it at that point. But the Contact Fuse doesn't do anything, apparently, versus Dynamis because he just Pendulum Summons again and didn't and just beats him down basically but the top decks are real he's going to top deck another copy of nashter the fact that nashter can summon back infinity like instantly and then you can kind of just go from there is incredibly good it also summons it in the um in the main monster zone so you don't have to worry about like master rule four in that case he has machine duplication once I saw that, I was like, okay, this is probably <laughs> this is probably a wrap. He's going for Infinity Part 3 and Part 4. He's sucking up all the monsters on the field, and I don't think Dino Miss is good enough to come back from this, especially when he has both monsters uh, popped. You don't generally see four Cyber Dragon Infinities summoned in a duel, but hey, when you got Dino Miss and Cyber Dragons dueling against each other, you're going to see a bunch of them. So hopefully you guys enjoyed those short duels. If you did, give the video a thumbs up. Thank you guys for watching. As always, subscribe if you have not already, and turn on that notification bell for daily videos.